for Kawhi Leonard. Of course Kawhi Leonard is the best player in basketball, and it's about time people recognize it. He was the best it, with a healthy KD. Clearly, Golden State would have won, and people would have mistakenly called KD better than Kawhi. Just like with a healthy KD, clearly they destroyed the Cavs last year, and people, some people mistakenly called KD better than LeBron. LeBron has the postseason to remind us that he's the best in the game, usually, because he, he you know, plays it safe during the regular season, takes his foot off the gas, doesn't spend himself, because he knows the postseason's where it's at. He didn't make the playoffs this year. We won't see him again until the playoffs. So he's almost 36 years old. Who knows? So the, the title's vacant. That's what I said to start the playoffs. Baton is down. Who wants to pick it up? Kawhi. You remember what he did against Philadelphia? Anyone remember the last shot, let alone the series? Remember what he then did to the Greek freak who I thought was going to prove himself the best player in the game? A physical mismatch. And then what he just did to the Golden State Warriors. The most points scored in a single postseason ever, MJ one, LeBron two, Kawhi three. Wendy just brought it up. MVPs with two set finals, MVPs, two separate franchises. Kareem, LeBron, now Kawhi. You know who the three greatest players of the modern era are? MJ, Kareem, and LeBron. And Kawhi finds himself on lists with those kind of names. Larry Bird is right there with those kind of names. Everyone always likes to talk about defense. They play lips, pay lip service to it. So when I was a kid, they told me Julio Cesar Chavez and Mike Tyson were the best pound for pound in the world. I saw this guy, Pernell Whitaker. I said, well, no one can hit him. Everyone, Felix Trinidad, shame about Floyd Mayweather. No one can hit him. Kawhi plays defense like he's Pernell Whitaker or Floyd Mayweather, but now his offense is almost as good as anyone's in the game. Let me tell you something else, finally. If Kawhi Leonard goes to the Clippers, you heard it here first. The Clippers are winning the NBA title next season. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. What if AD first. What if AD goes to the Lakers? If Kawhi goes to the Clippers, the Clippers are your NBA champions. Stop right next there. Stop right there. Year. I have a question. Are you But this Clippers team, I'm telling you right now, will win a championship, and I believe that will happen this year. And when that happens, you will create this, year? this season. When that happens, they will create new fans in LA that are Clippers fans instead of Lakers fans. But I have no idea if LeBron is capable of continuing to be the best player in basketball. But I thought before he got hurt, a healthy Kawhi was nipping at his heels anyway because Kawhi had turned into the, a guy who was capable of being the focal point offensively on a championship team. And he's one of the greatest defenders ever. And he's in his physical prime. And he just won his second MVP of the finals, yep. right? And he'll take the other team's best perimeter player, even big, and shut them down, you know, every single night while he's giving you nearly 30 on the other end. By the way, efficiently and in crunch time, right? So I hear what you're saying about LeBron, but it's been a grip since he has been in the playoffs making a run. It's a couple seasons ago already, and he didn't win. He didn't have the crew to win, but okay, he didn't. We haven't seen LeBron as the last man standing in a minute now. And we haven't seen him in the playoffs. It'll be almost, by the time he makes the playoffs, two years since the last. So we don't know for sure. But we know for sure about Kawhi. That's a bad dude right now. And as of right now, you want to say it's because LeBron's been in exile, that Kawhi's got the chip? Fine. But Kawhi's got the chip. He's sitting on the throne right now. Right at this moment, he's the best player in the NBA. Like, they have all the things they need, plus the experience together, the rest of the team, plus the coach. The Lakers don't have that stuff. The Lakers have LeBron and AD and a bunch of name brands that we don't know how much they have left or how good they really I'm not are. Ready. I'm not ready. Because a couple years ago, he stopped being the best player all the time and started just being the best player in the playoffs, right? Because he needed to preserve himself. KD was better in the regular season. Steph was better in the regular season. Arguably, James Harden. But then when, when crunch time came, LeBron separated himself they and showed you what's what. They didn't low manage Kawhi this year? But here's the problem. Here's the difference with Kawhi. Kawhi's not KD who had to join a championship team that won 73 games in order to get his chip. Kawhi is not Steph Curry who's undersized or James Harden who has choked under pressure. Kawhi is that dude who was a finals MVP when he was a puppy and didn't even yep. know how to play offense yet. And then he developed into an MVP caliber player. See, and now see, he's 27 see, see, here's, coming off a finals here's, MVP. Here's the, here's, the, here's the problem that I have with you. Tim Duncan was on that team. Well, last year. Tony Parker was on that team. Last year... 
-hmm. The whole Warriors team got hurt. Well, listen. And I'm this is not about Kawhi if, not being great. This Marcus, is But it, Kawhi Kawhi did not have the team last year that LeBron had when he beat the 73 win Warriors. He didn't have Kyrie, he didn't have Kevin Love, he didn't have that kind of a crew. So he was going to lose to And by the way, that crew would have lost to a KD Warriors anyway. That was before KD got there. Marcus what he did last year on the way to the finals, Next, beating the Embiid series. and Simmons. Yep, yep, but, yep. by the way, I'm beating the Sixers. Freak, he shut down the Freak four consecutive yep. games. Yep, and you know who else I've seen do that? Yeah, back then, we don't know if he still can. But you, If you want to say LeBron will reclaim the throne, let me go see him do that. That's one. Two, roster, you're right. Lakers got the best roster in the league. Roster doesn't mean team. The Clippers... With a, against a healthy KD-led Warriors team, fully loaded Warriors team, went six games, won 48 regular season games, and then won six against the Warriors, and then replaced Gallinari and Shea Gilgis-Alexander with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. By the way, they're coached by Doc Rivers. Think of the way the pieces fit now. If you have two attack dogs who can kill you on defense and score on the other side, uh, uh, and can get out and transition, do the whole thing, right? What kind of point guard you got? You need? You want a real dribble penetrator who monopolizes the ball? Nah. You need a guy to get those guys the ball who can play defense and shoot threes. I don't know, a guy like Patrick Beverly. How's your sixth man? Lou Will? Shamit can shoot the ball. I mean, Harrell is a good big. Is Kawhi actually a better player under pressure than the great Kobe Bean Bryant? Yes, he is. Kobe, no one had more heart than Kobe. Like, Kobe's not scared of anything. But because Kobe was the best bad shot maker who ever lived, he would take a lot of bad shots under pressure because he knew he could make them. But just look at how often he made them compared to what Kawhi is doing. Kawhi takes higher percentage shots and makes them more often under pressure than Kobe Bryant did. I'm not making it up. When you try to deride the statistics, I know you're both going to just assert that I'm wrong. But when you say, oh, just can't look at the numbers, you understand statistics are records of events. When they say in late and close games, Kobe Bryant shot inefficiently, his team got less efficient, those numbers are records of events that occurred. We could go back and watch the video and you will see they all occurred. Kawhi Leonard, under pressure, ain't missing. He's already been a finals MVP, and that was before he was in his prime. Under pressure, yes, Kawhi is better than Kobe was. I think that's ridiculous. Um, it's hard to get into why because I, I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be respectful, Max. Here's here's my oh. point. Here's my point. When you look at numbers, you can make an argument in favor of Kawhi in a variety of ways. But let me tell you something. When you sit up there and you say statistics are a record of history of what actually transpired. That's not always the case. I think you are completely focused on what you've seen from Kobe and the tail end. I don't know that to be the case, but I believe that. I'm thinking about the Kobe Bryant that won five titles. I'm thinking about the Kobe Bryant that only scored 28 in an overtime win en route to L.A.'s first title when they beat Indiana. But I recall Shaq fouling out, and everybody was in an uproar, and Kobe walked over to him and said, I got it. When you talk about clutch numbers, people might be talking about, oh, what transpired in the last two minutes, or the game is within three points, and what did you do at this particular moment, or Kobe's a, a volume shooter. I'm thinking about the process that transpired that led up to those moments where Kobe carried you. I, I hate every time I come on the show. I feel like I disagree with you, Max. Okay. <laughs> every time I come on the show, I disagree with you. I don't know why it just naturally works out that way. Don't hate it. Welcome uh, to my world. <laughs> so five months ago or four months ago, did you think that Kawhi was better than Kobe? Uh, was better what, 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 better under or pressure? More clutch, what you better, un, un, better under pressure than Kobe? Did you think I this five months ago? I thought it was an open question. I think Kawhi is still a center. So now, so now what Kawhi has done in one playoff series – has confirmed to you that he is more clutch than Kobe Bryant. One playoff series. What I am measuring. Because this sounds like a case of recency bias well, to me. Well, okay. I, As I, Kawhi is asked to do more and more offensively and carry more and more of the load, I would expect for his efficiency to go down. But it's gone up, Jay. He's even more efficient than he used to be while asked to do more. And he's not playing with Shaquille O'Neal.
So you're telling me for this small little microcosm of the frame of work, you're comparing that against the full body no. of work of Kobe Bryant. No, you're, you're saying that he's more clutch right now. No, you you're just said that he's one more, you know, he got finals MVP at an early age than, than Kobe. No, you're turning it into an argument about career accomplishments. Obviously, I cannot do no, that. I'm talking with about Kawhi. being clutch. And I'm talking about what, what, what? What being clutch to me is it has to be sustained over a legitimate amount well, of time, and you have to own that kind of, you have to carry that weight during that same right. amount well, of time. Well, Kawhi hasn't done that yet. What's the point in that conversation? We're so you're looking what we've future, seen but we're from, talking about have you been more We're clutch? talking about what we've seen from Kawhi so far. Is that better or worse than what we'd seen from Kobe to that point in the clutch? And I'm telling you, Kawhi is a better clutch performer than Kobe Bryant. Tell me about those clutch moments. Okay, how about this? No, no, I want Against, you to tell okay, me. I want you to. I want you to truly tell me about. Let's, the, let's oh, talk no, about. No, 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 let's go. Let's I'm go doing there. it now. I, okay, tell you me just, about those you, clutch you, moments I'm that you saw. You. In I'm your trying, mind, you said right. that moment right there is why Kawhi is more Wait. of a clutch player than Kobe Bryant. Oh, you want moments like shots he hit? I okay, want you to tell, tell me the moment. Tell me the moment. Tell me. Tell me, the, tell me the, okay, I will tell Stephen you. Stephen A. Smith just told you about a moment when when Kawhi Leonard was the best player on a Spurs team that won the championship. And he was the guy guarding LeBron James. He's guarding. One he's not on, making clutch one shots. One on so one, he was also making clutch shots. By the way, of course, you're he telling was me about the shots. first thing that comes that's out of your one. mouth is guarding. Hold, that's defending. okay. That's, he's a great two-way player. That's okay. Maybe but that's one of the part best of it. Ever do it. But wait a minute. That's part of it. We're comparing two players, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because you brought up that the Spurs didn't repeat as champions, and that was Kawhi's team. So you're expanding the definition of clutch, and I'm saying, okay, let's look into it. First three were Shaq MVPs in the finals. The next three, Meta bailed them out in Game 7, and then they lost to the Celtics in a different series. So it's not that... Kobe's on the third team that's the outrage. It's that he's on any of these teams at all that Max. is the outrage. That's an outrage. Kobe Bryant... You're an outrage. There is, so you had Wait, to put him what on any years team, is he the most destructive? If you had to put him on, two, on any years, team, two years, yeah. it, since he can't be, like, all-NBA best team, what yep. team would he be on? He, he would be on the all-NBA worst team, oh actually. My God. Oh, my look, goodness. Oh, look, my God. Look, look. You're kidding. 20... The, the point yeah, is you, this. Go home. The point is this. You go home. He averaged... Goodbye. Kobe averaged, Bryant's on the worst team. Goodbye. He averaged 22 points a game. It's a game that's a terrible offensive player. You it's, called it's, him it's, the most it's, destructive it's, 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 player in the but NBA. The all, but the all-worst team? Whoa, whoa. With the game on the line, one shot, who would you rather have taking it, Iggy or Curry? Of everyone on Golden State, open shot, fate of the universe on the line, or the Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth, you better hit it. I want Iguodala. When the Warriors were destroying everybody, Kawhi was healthy, and at half, they were up like 23 points. Mm -hmm. Kawhi one got game. hurt, and they got swept. At one time last year, Max Kellerman called Lebr Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world. Yeah. He said he was better than the Freak. He said he was better than yeah. LeBron. He no, said no, no, he was no. better than... When he, won, when he beat the Freak in the playoffs. I'm just saying you said it. That's what yes. I'm saying. He said and he's he was, still the best player in the world. He said he was better than KD. This is what he said. Yes. This is what you said. The blasphemy coming right out of your mouth. Now, let me you be very clear. Look, Kawhi Leonard, you, Kawhi Leonard is the best player on earth. He's the reigning, reigning finals MVP. No, 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 he no, no. he beat please. the Greek freak oh, in the please. playoffs. He was Stop better it. than the freak. Stop it. LeBron Stop didn't it. want any part LeBron of the opening night. Lena. What LeBron, does he have to LeBron, do? He has LeBron. never won an MVP. Oh, regular ever. season. Regular he season MVP. Never never also been known as meaningless been MVP. He's never true. been a best player in the world. Meaningless MVP. As great as he is, he has never been a best player in the world, as ever. you were saying about Ben Manning. Excuse me. Never. He is the best player today, and he is top five because one is in the top five. Boy. In a, in a, in a, Boy. In a game where 16 wait. out of 30 teams make the playoffs. That means you have a better fit. LeBron, are you listening to you this? You have a better. Are you, but LeBron, are you listening to you this? You have blasphemy. a better than I mean, come on. Oh, let me just cur I'm just curious. What are you going to say? Because obviously Paul George and all these guys, Patrick Beverly, everyone's going to be making contributions. What are you going to say if Kawhi Leonard if. is the best player in the Western Conference Finals and goes on to win the, M the Finals MVP and his team win a championship? You know what you'll say? No, well, no, he had Paul Tom, Tom, George, Tom, he had a better no, coach. The Western right. Conference Finals are going to come down to an all Staples Center showdown. They please, share please, the building. What pray. amazing non travel and listen, would that be? And what I'm going to tell you right now, and he's <laughs> no. going to have to start getting his excuses ready for LeBron now. No. Believe it or not, Stephen A., you're going to have to get your excuses ready for LeBron. <laughs> Imagine that. He That's right. Something. He does something. Remember? Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers are going, and I'm a Lakers fan, mm -hmm. are going to beat the Lakers this season. I'm not looking ahead. I'm talking about this upcoming season. In the Western Conference Finals, 
at Staples Center. Kawhi Leonard will be playing defense on LeBron James when Paul George isn't. He will be doing the best possible job anyone in history could have ever done on LeBron James. LeBron's still going to get his. He's that great. But Kawhi's going to be fantastic defensively. On the other end, Kawhi's going to be the leading offensive player for the Clippers. He will therefore clearly be the best player in the series on the winning team. Mm -hmm. The Clippers will then go on to win the championship, and Kawhi Leonard will be the MVP. Meaning, LeBron, at least this year, mm -hmm. cannot reclaim the throne. Okay. Let's go there. How much longer does Brady have? I want to make this very clear, especially for Patriots and Brady fans. Oh, boy. Let me start by saying, Patriots fans, listen, okay? I think Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback who ever lived, okay? Are we all clear? He's the greatest quarterback who ever lived. Push comes to shove over Peyton over Joe Montana, over John Elway, over everyone I've ever seen. If I had to draft quarterbacks all time to start their careers on my team, I'm taking Tom Brady. Okay, got it? Tom Brady's just about done. It could be his next game he plays. It could be a year from now. But he is going to fall off a cliff. Tom Brady is going to be a bum in short order. Now, what do I base that on? What, what, Tom, ho, can ho, you say that again? Ho, ho. Yes. Ho. Hold up. Yeah. Did you just say that Tom Brady is just about done? Yeah. And he's going to be a bum in short order? Is that what you just said? Correct. A bum in short order. Yes. The floor is yours. Now, 